deal with that is gross. Uh, I'm sure that you know what show that I'm talking about. And after seeing, um, I was seeing a movie, Failing Height 451, and I, I found it so funny that the actor who played Montag, and I, I think that's like one of the leading judging, you know, it's, it's about, was German. Montag was German. And if you're thinking about the idea of learning books, learning knowledge, think of, you know, what Hitler did to, you know, Jewish books knowledge. Um... So anyway, um, so, trying to think, so, um, yeah, that show, um, that'll teach them. I don't know what's going to be going on, but hopefully it is going to be a different thing. You know, I, I don't even know if they're playing any episodes of that, but if they do, then I have really high expectations. Um, so, um, today we're going to, I mean, you know, finish up last minute songs. We're going to do that at the very, very end. I will not film that, obviously, because that's off of the film. Um, this is a safe memory because who wants to watch me teaching you all? It's like we did it with that, you know, song. And I would just rather you learn it quickly as you hear it. And, you know, for me, have to, you know, ruin my brain trying to explain everything. So, um, long way down, we're going to be getting to that. Okay. Um, we've already talked about that. Uh, I will be filming the Dance Moms episode series. The very, very first episode will be from season three. We, um, you know, remember the episode will, um, um, well, it's the new season and, you know, Christy and Kelly. This is season three, right before the two episodes on Kathy. And while Abby's in, you know, Los Angeles shooting, you know, uh, ultimate dance competition. Well, Christy and Kelly, if you can remember, we have that really, really big swirling fight, which is dysfunctional, in the studio during the, the rehearsal of the senior company. And, and also the, you know, the dynamics between Kathy, and remember when that choreographer was there who I would describe in the dance world would be Lori and Gibson's husband. Which would be Anthony Burrell. Um, so that's the episode that I'm going to do. Okay. Um, so, so, um, so we're going to finish songs later. Now, I want to talk about Sagittarius season because it is up and coming. I was watching a video by somebody whose accent I don't exactly remember or know where they came from, but I think that it's probably some, uh, I think that she's probably Welsh, but she has an astrology channel. And I have um, taken all of those ideas from that video and probably added just one or two new ones, and I wrote all of those ideas up on the board. So. Th these are all of the things that at some point in Sagittarius season, I will quietly recommend that you get around to do it. You don't have to do all of them, but I quietly recommend that you do the ones that you're most interested in. So, think about the themes that we're going to be getting into Sagittarius. Think about, you know, you know you're not feeling it now, obviously, but, you know, Free, you know, outgoing, um, you know, stick your foot in your mouth, you know, adventure, um, you know, expanding your horizons and your mind, um, you know, having new philosophy and higher learning and exploration, and, you know, really, you know, the party waiting to happen and the joy factor. Sagittarius is a very interesting fire sign because it's not necessarily... I, I wouldn't think of Sagittarius as a fire sign. I think of Sagittarius as more an air sign. 
because I have seen several Sagittarius's, you know, I'm not going to, you know, put them in boxes because everybody's different, but they don't, you know, I don't know too many wild ponies in my life. However, the, you know, um, the ones that I have seen are not, you know, loud and exaggerated, but they're, you know, Bonnet Fulgonian. You know, think of um, Cornelia. She probably had a lot of Taurus energy. So, Sagittarius and Taurus are very, very different, but there are some similarities. Gemini and Scorpio are completely different signs. They're countering. They're very, that, that's a very countering combination. Incredibly, probably one of the most countering combinations of signs in the entire zodiac. Um, you know, if you think about it. Um, so, um, all of the things to do during Sagittarius season, um, the first one is to travel, get outside, think, you know, embrace your, you know, your child factor. Um, go on an adventure, travel, go to a new country. Um, you know, go to a new place in town in your, you know, city and, you know, really, you know, go your own way and not stay tied down. Obviously, with Devoc 91, we can't do that. Um, however, there are things that we can do. Like, Sunday, we're going on, you know, a lake adventure. That's Sagittarius, getting outside of the house and understanding, um, you know, a broader, you know, view and perspective of the world and not learning it in the box of, you know, you know, a building and, you know, I mean, a new house, but actually, you know, getting out and experiencing it for yourself. It's very, very important. Um, so... Read a book, watch a movie. I'm probably thinking, why do I say read a book, watch a movie on Sagittarius list? When you can do that for every single sign, different types of areas and interests based off of that sign and based off of the energies, the moons. I don't know the planets. What's going on in the comment? You may be thinking, why is that on? Why is it so general? That's something like this. Well, it's about expanding. It's about you know, opening up your mind to do, you know, to new uh, ideas, new ways of living, ways of you know, thinking about something, new situations, new people, all those things. TV. You see people traveling all the time. One of the things that will be coming up in Sagittarius season is Tech Bundle, where you will be going around the world and going different places in the world, which all of the fellow Sag Tech Bundle members are working on for everybody. You know, for this Menton and for all of the Mentons, because this is what, you know, this realm of Mentons at the very least is going to do is go, you know, online, it's going to be three-dimensional and travel around things. It's going to be really, really neat. So, my, um, I mean, you know, my, you know, it's going to be a real trip, like, you know, going outside, going places, you know, for the first half of it, for the November half, and then the December, I mean, I mean, you know, it's going to take into, you know, kind of, the early to middle of Sag season, and then the later part of it will be that tech bundle to give, you know, more time to get the super exciting stuff out of the way, to give more time to set it up because it's, well, it, you know, it's technology, it's complicated. So, um, I'm going to try to think of a book after we're done with this one of what would be good for Sagittarius season. I'm going to think of something that is realistic fiction. Uh, an adventure book. So, um, learning about a new culture. 
new people, new food, new, I mean, you know, dancing is voice side to too. It's new styles of, you know, singing, you know, nature, all these things. Um, you know, warning, you know, new language, um, warning about a certain type of history, warning about where your family came from, your ancestors, your heritage, all of those things. Think of, you know, not uh, the, the the theme music, which is Frozen, and that's kind of what, you know, Elsa and Anna did, and, you know, the sequel to it. Um, you know, the theme, I know we'll start the horoscope sign, you know, November 22nd, but the theme music is from Frozen, so, uh, talk to foreign people, talk foreign interactions, talk to people who are from other cultures, different backgrounds, different families and ethnicities have gone through different experiences, remotely, preferably, talking with them on the phone, because, you know, what, you know, you know, you have limited options because of this whole thing that hopefully will be out of the woods and see the other side of it by next year. I, you know, I would think that, you know, we would. Absolutely. Um, so, um, you know, but there will be things that, you know, will work around it. It won't be, you know, the Tadizio Nale um, yoful, um, holidays, but it'll be special just the same. So, um, um, so get out of your comfort zone. Do things that you wouldn't normally do. Do things that you would go to do. Good things and healthy things and wise things. But do things that you want to do but you, you know, put them off and you have hesitation or, you know, feel you're uncomfortable doing those things. It's going to be the time to really, you know, embrace your freedom and everything. Um, so, it's, you know, so this is Sagittarius, is that part of what? So, um, let's see. Um, so, 